All right. We're going to get going here on the second half of Series 6 of the Master Amateur Invitational near Carnation, Washington. We ran probably about half the dogs last night. Ran until about 6 o'clock and quit. And now we're going to run the other half of the dogs. And uh, after that, we'll have our award ceremony. Again, dog 35 is up and running. That's the middle mark. Flyer. Get you a couple camera views here. Ooh, sit in. Big wipeout bird right here. Good. Dog thought about it for half a second. Perfect. Pin the go bird. Now, last night, most of the dogs, if not all of them, went for the flyer second, and that's probably what we'll have here today as well. Let's take a look. Going for the flyer second. Again, that flyer is thrown kind of angled back and down the field from us. So the dog did great. Ran out in front of the holding blinds. Gun station picked up his bird. Nice. Ooh, diversion bird there. Or, excuse me, diversion shot. Diversion shot, not a bird. Diversion shot. So far, this dog is doing incredibly well. Now we got this right hand. Well, it's got, I guess it's under the arc, isn't it? So it's the middle bird. And it's a water mark. And yes, yesterday, some of the dogs did get hung up with some scent coming off that wipeout bird. Uh-oh. See, this dog did the same thing, got close to where that wipeout bird was. And you can see him rustling around in the high cover. And that had to handle. Okay, dog's hard to see when they're along that shoreline, but he's heading back to the bird. Hopefully Annette had a handle to burn here. Yeah, he had it right there. Yeah, he got it. Safety whistle and cast. Okay, dog's coming back. Two solid marks and had a handle on the middle bird. We saw a little bit of that last night as well. She's got her marks. Now we just have to get uh, the two blinds. Again, uh, everybody watching, give me a shout out, would you? If you're, if you can hear it and see everything just fine. Just want to make sure audio is good, video is good. I am monitoring the chat window. like we're going to line up for, hmm, all right, looks like we might be going for the water blind first. Most dogs last night were going to the land blind first and then the water blind, but I'm sure Annette has a plan and this dog so far is doing exactly what you should be doing. Get it on the point, now get off the point. A little bit right. 
Yeah, I don't want to get too far out of the water there. So water, ooh, water blind. It's all right to get out of the water, but boy, you got to get them back in. <clears throat> Having a battle here. There you go. There you go. See this blind is in heavy shadows. You can see the orange ribbon up there in the top right hand corner. So that's, you can see the dog in the bottom left corner. It's got to go a little farther. And right there, but it's, it's in the cover. So it's not sitting out in the open. So the, the end of this blind can be tricky because they have to get in there. There you go. See how the dog had to poke his nose in there? Got it, okay. That is the more difficult blind out of this series. The lamb blind is up next. And Annette has a pretty good run going here. I'm not sure how she was doing through the rest of the competition, but uh, she had to burn up a handle here. Okay, waiting for the dog to come back. Yeah, so I apologize for those of you watching here. Uh, the live stream was scheduled to run on YouTube. We did start this on YouTube, but they yanked it. They dropped it, and they took away my live stream privileges. They deemed this to be too violent because of their policies, community policies. And it took 48 hours to figure all that out, but um, we switched over to Facebook and now we're just gonna leave it here on Facebook. My problem is that with Facebook is that it only lives here for like 30 days and then the live, the recording goes away. Okay, Annette running the lamb blind here. Good. Looking good. Gonna pop up on this ridge. And the blind stake is right there. Ooh, don't go deep now. Come in. Can't see the dog in the high cover back. There he is. Looks like they wrapped a stake with a flower on top and some kind of camo on the rod and that's a flower sticking on top of it that's how they're marking that blind but the other blind is an orange ribbon so Annette first dog to run here this morning getting a little love from the gallery hopefully that earned her a crystal plate and a pass. Nice looking yellow Labrador Retriever there. Okay, though, that was dog 35. The next on my list is dog 37. North Rim's Raven Whirlwind Gone Mad. Master Hunter. Gotta look at my other sheet because the Entry Express page. Oh, that's right. Okay, 37. H.R. North Rims Raven Whirlwind Gone Mad Master Hunter. And Jennifer Hood is the handler. Flyer. Again, I'm not showing the birds being shot here, just to be safe. That is a big wipeout bird, and I could probably get that in the shot. Oh, the dog was steady. Whoa. Oh, no. Dog blew right past it. 
checking back down. Not a big deal. That dog was ready and raring to go this morning. That's tricky because that uh, that bird is in line with gun number two and not that far off line from the flyer. Wind's picking up here this morning. Okay, going for the flyer. Good line. A little downwind. Ooh, quite there. Bingo. Nice. Nice mark. Diversion shot just went off, which sets up the blinds. And yesterday, that really didn't have a lot of effect on most dogs, but it did on a few. They thought something. They need to get something on that right hand of the test, so that short gun right there is where the diversion shot is coming from. Ooh, handle. Right from the get-go. Another handle. I wonder if she thought the dog was gonna go back to that wipeout bird. Again, that wipeout bird is 30 yards. But the second dog has had to handle on this middle mark. She's just trying to get him away from, away from there. I cannot see the dog behind that tall cover, waiting for the dog to pop out here. There he is. jacket that wind picked up and got a little cool. Right back. Okay, got the mark. Back to my truck. I got my jacket. I found a thank you note back there. Thank you for your creativity and skills that have made this Master Amateur Invitational memorable and accessible. I think that was Rhonda Reed. Left with me a little thank you note, so that's greatly appreciated. Ron is the chairperson for this event. Sorry, I'm not following the dog here. Ron has been working hard, not just for this national, but she's been working on this national for a long time. For over a year and a half, I'm sure. A lot of planning, coordinating. She's not even from this area. <laughs> I got a little gift here. Show it to you after this dog runs. Okay, looks like we're lining up for the land blind. <clears throat> Good, good, woo! Boxed this blind. So frustrating to, ooh, yeah, there you go. Right there. There you go, now we got it. Ooh, still didn't get it. 
Hmm, I saw him walk out there. Oh, don't blow it here. <clears throat> Oof. I swear this dog has been on all sides of this blind twice now. Keeps acting like he's winding something here. There. Whoa. <laughs> That's so frustrating. But it's something you got to just keep at it. Don't give up. It's easy to get mad and call them in, but you're at a national. You got to you got to complete the test. Part of that is perseverance, right? You just got to persevere through a difficult end of a blind. But you know, if I judged that, it would have been. Not a perfect 10, but I mean, it would have been a fairly high score. <clears throat> okay, water blind is next. Ooh, Doug. Well, yep, I'm ready. Let's go. Trying to get the dog the line right. There's the hand, there's the sin. Up, come on, you gotta get up on that point. There you go, good, good, good whistle. Good, re-entry. Good. You can, ooh, I can barely see him on the top of the tall grass. Oh, he's a black dog. It's going to be hard to see in these shadows back here. There we go. Good. Good. Got to get right up in there. Good. Nice. Nice job. Very nice water blind. So I got a, a steak from Northwest Camo from our chairman, Rhonda Reed. Let's we'll see if I can put it on camera. But it's got some stickers on it, and one of them's a Sasquatch. So I got a little blind marker here. So thank you, Rhonda. Appreciate the gift. That's her way of saying thank you for all the hard week work I have done here this week. Let's see, that was, check, look. I believe dog 38 will be our next dog. This will be Midway's Machismo Master Hunter. Charles Pugh will be our handler. This dog has had a really good, Charles' dog here has had a really good that I've seen and <clears throat> been able to live stream had a really good um, national going here. Not as much hooting and hollering here this morning as there was yesterday, but I think we got a lot of nervous handlers sitting back here who haven't ran this yet, so. There we go. There's a little love. Big wipeout bird here. Whoosh. Rock steady. This dog is fun to watch. I gave her this morning and morning's breakfast, but probably not my 
That's choice. <laughs> Made short work of that. You can see Charles a mile away. He's got a big white beard. <laughs> looking good, looking good. Came out in front of the holding blind. The wind must have got it. Uh, the wind is left to right across this test. So it's blowing from the water out there to the line. So I'm curious to see how the handlers use that to their advantage. Macho. Taking a good line into the water. Looking good. Blowing past this 30 yard wipeout bird. Doesn't look like it even affected this dog in any way. Excellent looking mark here. Boom, goes the dynamite, right? That was superb work right there. That would have been high, high marks for, scores for marking. Basically pinned all three of these birds. Gives you a nice boost to your overall score. Dog's name is Macho. Okay, as he comes swimming back in, I'm going to pour a little coffee here. Oh. On my, was it 14th day? Two full weeks here. I had the pleasure of actually being here while they set everything up. I even ran my dog on some of these tests and kind of gave me an inside appreciation of what you guys are going through out there. Hope you enjoy the blog. Blog's got a lot of high quality graphics explaining each test and uh, video descriptions. So Mark, Master Amateur Retriever Club, bought a drone and we utilize that not only for the diagrams to show you each series, I added a lot of video content from that drone as well. So that dog did a very good job, but I noticed Charles does this a lot and maybe if uh, anybody out there knows Charles Bug, uh, when he says, he sends the dog back, he says back again. I don't quite know why, but he's trying to get the dog to have more momentum. He knows that a couple of times he's ran. This dog and maybe some of his other dogs. Might. So he says back off the line, he'll say back again. Okay, water blinds next. All right, you did not say back again there. Ooh, did get, did trim that point. Duck looks like it wants to go left, left, left. Trying to get him to go right. Again, this is the more difficult of the two blinds because of the 
factors of the water getting on land, getting back into water, swimming down the edge of a shoreline and then getting out. And then the end, you got to poke the dog's nose into some heavy cover. So a lot of pitfalls in this particular blind. Barely see in there. Most dogs have been getting out right there. Might be some drag back in there by now. Got a tricky ending here. Right there, buddy. Right there. Perfect. Nice dog. There's some love from the gallery. <laughs> That should earn him a well-deserved crystal plate pass to this year's Master Amateur Invitational. And that was dog number 38 that just ran. I am monitoring uh, the chat window here, so Again, folks, let me know where you're watching from, who you're rooting for, what's your local gun dog club. If you ever ran a Master Amateur Invitational, I'd love to hear what national you have ran, if you had any luck, to have your MAR or MAH title. Of course, you can find all that information out on the Master Amateur Retriever Club website. Okay, that was... 40, dog number 40 is up next. Howley's change in fortune, Master Hunter Brian Howley. Of course, Brian Howley and his wife Elsa are owners of Northwest Camo. That's kind of interesting. You got folks in the game that run dogs and make products for training dogs. Sit, sit. <clears throat> I think every series he's had to reheal this dog. All right, good. Oh, where are we going? I didn't see where this wipeout bird landed, if it landed in the water or did it land on land. Nope, landed in the water. <clears throat> good job. Got that one. So that bird was short. And that puts that bird, because it landed in the water, extremely tight to that First mark down the point may make the flyer easier, but could make that middle mark harder. We'll see. Boy, it's hard to line the dog up when they're out in front like that. I'm sure that's frustrating for Brian. But you can't push and pull them when they're five to 10 feet in front of you. Good, drawing up the hill. Uh, okay. Good, good. Get the flyers landing directly down camera. Dog's just trying to work it out. Good, got it. Okay, this dog got his flyer. There's your diversion shot. Boy, that really got his attention. His ears came up and you slowed down for just a half a second. I believe Brian has two dogs still in this. I think he told me this morning. All right, now we got a difficult, see how he pops out in front like that. This dog had a good solid look long. This dog is on a mission, which is good. Good momentum. We're in the danger zone here. Brian looks composed, calm, so the dog must be doing well. Can't see the dog when he gets behind this cover. Oh, just popped out. Good. Got past the danger zone there. That wipeout bird. Another little 
piece of cover. There's the dog. This dog's doing really good. Yep, popped out. Boom. Nice mark. Pinned that challenging middle mark. That was bird number one that he picked up. That was the first bird thrown. And then this left hand flyer was two and then that wipeout mark, which is 30 yards off the line, is your go bird. Okay, let's zoom out. Wait for the dog to come back. And then Brian's got two blinds to get a land blind, which is behind the flyer. And then the more difficult water blind, which is down the shoreline. Thank you, Gloria. New Spickle for watching the live stream. How's your husband? Outgoing president, Fred. Gloria writes, watching from Georgia, rooting for all the handlers, but especially for friend, Mark Burke, and his great dog, River. Okay, Brian Howie, up running. Picked up all the marks, now we're trying to get lined up. I'm going to run, it looks like a lamb blind here. I'm trying to see. That dog was a little closer to him on the blind, so he was able to push and pull the dog a little bit more. Good whistle. Ooh. Good dog. You get it? Yep. All right, nice land blind. All right, Brian, we're rooting for you, buddy. Got to get one more blind. All comes down to this. So far, the eagle has not showed up. <laughs> No, we're not done, honey. Got it. Got another bird here. Don't be jumping up and down thinking you're doing good. You got one more. Focus. Good. Good. Hard back. Good timing on the whistle, on the point. Huh, that is very unique. He says angle. Gives an angle cast and said angle. Never heard that before. There's a good back. Dog's doing good. Gave a straight left up, back. Again, one more. Come on, it's right there. Yeehaw. Lots of love from the Thank gallery. So Elsa, if you're watching back at the uh, tent, <laughs> your husband did really good here. That's one of the compliments <laughs> I've had uh, for this live stream, that some of these series you can, just cannot watch the dogs, just not gallery friendly, right? So when you do a live stream like this, uh, they're, they're, they were watching from in the background there, and they could see what the dog work was all about. And, probably help them greatly. Of course, this is not a competition. It's a lot of insight here on the live stream on each series.
All right, good job, Brian. He's got to feel good about that. Okay, next dog I have on my book, if it's right, is dog 44. Three sisters, almost Christmas Eve, Master Hunter. Don West is the handler. If anybody has the backstory on, well, <laughs> on the name of this dog, they must have been born on Christmas Eve is all I can recollect. But if you know, let me know. I'd be curious in the comments. Lisa Rilling giving Brian some love on the comments. And there's your middle bird. I'm not showing that. And there's the flyer. Again, I'm not showing the birds going down. The only one we're going to show is this one right here, this wipeout bird. Ooh, that one was short too. Dog was steady. Man, made short work of that. Flyer, I'm going for the flyer. Dog took a great line. Not sure where this landed. Of course, with flyers, they go everywhere and anywhere. I think you got it. Yep. Okay, a little hunt there, but not a big deal. There was the diversion shot. The dog didn't even slow down. Now the water mark. Again, this has been one of those tricky marks where some dogs are doing good. Some dogs need to handle. This dog is doing really good. Went in the middle of the pond, swimming nicely past the danger zone here of that wipeout bird. Had great momentum. Looks like he knew where he was going. Popping out behind the cover. Oh, this is an excellent job here. You watch, she's gonna pop out there and just pick this bird up. Got up just a hair early, bounced off the holding blind. Boom, nailed it. All right, we got three great marks here. Oh, we're gonna plant some blinds and see how we do there. Thank you, Katie Quarles. She said this dog was born December 23rd. Oh, it was, yes, it does say that here. 2013. Okay, we got a lamb blind going here. Whoa, right to it. Wow. <laughs> Had a girl. Okay, now the more difficult water blind. Just a hair early, up on top of the mound. Careful, careful. Dog lost sight of the handler, came back out to where you could see it. Put him in perfect position to cast off that point.
Dog is doing really good here. Close to shore, right back there. Uh, you can see him swimming around, still in the water. Good. Ooh. Got out just a hair early, but. Yep, careful here. Slow down, slow down, slow down. It's in this cover. Oh, good dog. Nice. All right, another fantastic dog work here. I believe that was dog 44, just ran, Don West. Our next dog will be dog 47, Bayview's Sweet Caper Rose Master Hunter. Michael Hastings is your handler. And Melaine says the vantage point that Mike is able to provide anyone watching on the live stream is better than being there in person. I hope so. Appreciate the comments. And we got 34 people watching, so not very many, but this will live on YouTube for a little while. So something you can watch over and over again. I think it lasts 30 days and then it's taken down. All right, good job. All right, I'll try and show the marks this time, just for a little contrast. So again, as the next dog comes to the line, this middle mark is first. You can see him standing there. Winger throws it down the point. One, and right behind that is your flyer. And then way over here, your wipeout, 30 yards. Boosh, meant to wipe out the memory of the other two marks. But so far that really hasn't wiped out a whole lot of memory, except for that first mark, that middle mark. Some dogs have had to handle on this series. This dog made short work of the 30-yard little wipeout bird. Let's see where we're going next. And dog is bouncing between the two. Looks like it's going for the water mark. Oh, that dog did not leave like it knew where it was going. Oh, popped. Oh, I have to handle. But right down to that decoy in the water. Turn around and said, where am I going? Handling here on his second retrieve. Going for the watermark second. Now we did see in the first uh, six series, uh, last night the first uh, part of this, that we did have one dog double handle and did not get to run the blinds. 
So this dog is in danger of that. Hopefully that flyer made a good impression on his memory. But this bird was wiped out by that 30 yard first bird that came up. He just wasn't sure where he was going. All right, so he's gonna come back from that. Handle here on mark number two. Now we're gonna get set up and try and get this flyer without a handle. Again, we, the Master Amateur Retriever Club did invest in some basic broadcast equipment here to give you this opportunity to see the event live streamed for the first time ever. If you appreciate the efforts going into this live stream, if you're here or if you're watching from around the country, please drop an email. Let us know that you like this. Hope to do it again next year as well. Okay, buddy, come on. He's looking good. A lot better momentum here. <clears throat> Taking a good line. Come on, big dog. You gotta go higher. Come on, climb. There she goes. Oh, don't have a big hunt. Come on, you pick this up. In the bird area, and there again, there's a lot of scent out there. I think you just got to go a little bit deeper. Got to go away from the gun a little bit more. Don't, there you go, bounce off that. Don't come back behind the, there you go, you're out in front of the gun. Right there. Oh. Okay, I didn't see where this landed. All right, got it. Woo, good. <laughs> the entire gallery is rooting for every single dog running here. Precious thing. Okay, we got our diversion shot. Dog came back, and now we're gonna run a couple blinds. They already planted the water blind. And... Did they plant Yeah. Well, I saw them plant this one. They planted it up a little bit back. Yeah. The blinds are down. They've been doing a really good job. Don't look at here. You're not coming here. There you go. Focus, big boy. Focus. There you go. Pull him. Yeah, so this dog was looking left, 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 left from the get-go. So good stop and cast. Okay, a little more right. More right. More right. Good. More right. Good dog. Good overcast. Now we just need a back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dog figured it out. Nice job. of the way 
10% is the hardest part, and that's this water blind. That's it. Get rid of the bird. Boy, head, tail, and spine not lined up right here. Let's come on. My dog does this too and does not like to sit down. Ooh. Ouch. Don't do that. That's a cast refusal. Oh, two cast refusals. No, don't come in. Three. Not looking good. This is one of those rare cases where you let the judges judge until they tell you to pick up the dog, you just keep keep at it, keep fighting. You're at the end of the sixth series. You may not get high scores here on this blind, but now you're just trying to survive. You're at the end, you cannot give up. Careful. Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta give the handler some love there. Sometimes you just have to fight the fight and hope for the best. And we will certainly hope for the best for this dog when they start handing out placements here in a couple of hours. pooped. I believe we have dog 51 coming up. Margot's fire of the seven sisters, Master Hunter, Nathan Hagen. We'll be coming up to the line. Confused. 
today. Mark number one. Wipeout bird. Okay, that one. They're landing a little short. The birds must be a little on the wet side and heavier. I think they wanted that bird to land a little bit farther on land, but this dog made short work of the go bird. Going for the flyer. Look at this rocket ship. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, boy, cut. Diversion bird. That bird landed directly away from the uh, flyer station, so we couldn't see the dog pick it up, but he wasn't in there a split second, came right back out. Okay, water mark. So this handler pointed the dog and then took the bird. Got a nice long look here, so excellent handler um, work here. Dog is past the danger zone. Ooh, good. Boy, you hold your breath when you can't see him in that tall cover, but I'm sure from the handler's point of view, this dog was doing fine. Okay, looks like he's a little watery, meaning he's, okay, now he's peeling it. Oh, good dog. got overcast conditions now and it's supposed to rain here later today so hopefully we can get her done before the rain comes in a little far come back look away good dog good dog great mark great mark 